All right, guys. So, the, yeah, the Majesty Fiasco is over with. But I bought two of them. They both had the same issues going on with them. No matter what I did, I could not get them to hold tune. I took it down to Guitar Center, both of them. They asked me, did you let one of our dudes work on it for you? You know, try to get it fixed. I don't want them working on a guitar like that. Because I've heard too many horror stories of their techs not being able to do what they need to be, you know, what needs to be done. People getting them back worse than they were when they gave them to them. So, my girlfriend was good enough to take me down yesterday. I got so pissed off. You know, I decided to go back to a brand that I trust. Ibanez. And this is what I got with some money coming back to me. Oh, yeah. This is the Ibanez Prestige RGA 622XH. This is the X Lab series. And oh, dude, what a guitar this thing is. So, for the specs, we have an African mahogany body, master tone, master volume, three way blade switch. This switch in the middle is a coil tap for your pickups. The fingerboard is ebony with jumbo frets. Offset mother of pearl dot inlays. The tuners. Godo tuners. Made in Japan 2024. Five piece maple and walnut neck. That is the Wizard HP. All access neck joint. Radius is 16.9 inches. And if you don't notice, we have 27 frets. <laughs> it's more like 26 and like a quarter of a fret. But, okay, pickups. DeMarzio Tone Zone in the bridge. DeMarzio Aaron Norton S in the neck. And then the trim. Ibanez. Low Pro Edge. Dude, this is like the best trim they make. Steve Vai's favorite trim. He swears by this. Right now, it's running 942 on your ball. I'm thinking about putting 944 on there. Just to, uh, just to try it out. But I'm afraid it might mess up the intonation a little bit. This is white, you know, it's gloss polyester finish, and uh, one of black, but you have to get what you can get, you know. The receipts where I did the exchange, the key for the case, whatever this thing is, you get the Ibanez multi-tool in the case. You also get grommets for your bar. Good old JS strap. You get the bar. And I bought the ultralight trim arm bar. Or ultralight carbon fiber thingy that they do. I bought that separately. But uh case is included in your purchase. Now both Majesties. Amazing guitars. I love them. Do not get me wrong. I do not think the setup issues was a fault of Music Man Guitars. I believe that Guitar Center has them hanging in there. They let people play on them and play on them, tune around on them, all that kind of stuff, and it just got the setup out of whack. And maybe I'm dumb and don't know how to properly set one of those up. This guitar, I strummed the chords for 30 seconds. Totally in tune everywhere. Didn't even use the bar. I just took my hand like this and just barely moved it. No tuning loss. Pushed it down. No tuning loss whatsoever. And then I thought about it for 
five seconds. This is what I'm swapping it out for. This is it. Ibanez has never, ever let me down. I know that when I open one of these up, it's going to be good. Now, the neck pickup. If you're interested in this guitar, the neck pickup sounds more like a middle pickup. Because the extra frets kind of push the pickup back a little bit from normal neck position. And they angle it like this to make that work. Don't forget about the stud locks in here. If you don't unlock those before you adjust this bridge, you can rip that out of the body and then, oh boy, you're in trouble. This switch is a three-way. Or no, it's not. It's a two-way. So you technically get six different positions here. But man, what a fantastic guitar. It's in tune. It's always in tune. Slightly off from sitting overnight. But yeah, gold hardware. This will oxidize quite fast, I'm sure. We do have the low pro edge locking nut. String retainer bar. Ibanez Prestige. Dude, great guitar. Just an absolutely awesome instrument. I'm going to be making some videos with it here very, very soon. Probably in the next 20 minutes or so. And I hope you guys stick around and watch that. I hope you enjoyed the video. It's an awesome guitar. Awesome guitar. That Super Wizard HP neck. So smooth. And like I said, you know, I know I made those videos about how great the Majesty was. The Intensive Forest. Well, it was. For a day and a half, it would seem. And then I'd go to work, work all day, come back home, pick it up to play it. And have to spend the next three what, 30 minutes? 30 minutes to an hour having to tune it before I could even actually play the thing. And like, man, for a guitar of that money, you, you, you shouldn't have to sit and spend all that time tuning it just to even play the thing. This one, $24.99. Has been hanging on the wall at Guitar Center for so long, the strings were shot. But it was still in tune, and it was still properly intonated. Although right now it may not be because I put Ernie Balls on it instead of, uh, what is it? Instead of, uh, Diodero. But, yeah, you know? And I will have another Majesty. I will get one, but I'm going to get it from Sweetwater and have it properly set up the way I want it. So, that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. And go pick you up one of these if you're interested, man, because I think they're great. It's an awesome guitar. So good. Alright guys, take care.